big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs this season. You can check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, linked in the description. Hey up guys, RBSS here and today it's Charlton at home. Obviously we had that really disappointing uh, loss at Derby last week, 4-0. We've got some more transfer business done obviously. James Chester's come in and Tashan Oakley Booth has come in from Tottenham. Um, I did a video the other day just talking a little bit what I thought about the transfers. Uh, you can go check that out, the link will be in the description. Hoping we can get a result today, I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke. Uh, I know I always say 2-1 but I do really think it'll be 2-1 today. Uh, and I'm reckoning Ta Tyrese Campbell and uh, Sam Klukas to get one. Um, lineups aren't out yet, but I'll get that into it a, a little bit later on. But without further ado, let's talk to some fans, talk to some of the experts. Come on, Stoke. Joined by Matt Sandals and Nigel Johnson from Radio Stoke. Big game today, six pointer. What do you reckon is going to happen? Well, I mean, we talked about this yesterday. And I, is it a big game? Because there's still a lot of games to be played. You know, if they lose this one, is it the end of the world? Probably not, but it's important. I'd say it's a must not lose game rather than a must not win game. Although, having said all of that, I do think Stoke will win and I think they'll win 2 0. Nigel? He's very confident, isn't he? Uh, it is an important game. I think I agree with Matt. It's not a matter of must win, it's must not lose. They have the ability to win this one. They really ought to be thinking to themselves two home games six points we want all of them and i think this afternoon if they click as they did at west brom and they did when they came at home against swansea i think it'll be a 2-0 for Stoke. joined by angela smith <laughs> i am um big game today yeah Matt they're, all, they're all big games what do you reckon is going to happen well every time you talk to me we, we we do okay so i'm predicting a 2-1 today what do you reckon will score I don't care, so long as we score. Uh, I'd like to think Tyrese will come back and get a goal. And um, I don't mind who gets the other. I'd rather it be 2 0, but I think it might be 2 1. And from Duck Magazine, absolutely loving the cover. Charlton at home today, what are we thinking? We've got a win, mate. To be honest, hopefully Preston do the business at Wigan, and then we win today, and we, you know, we get that that, that gap between us and the bottom three again. Uh, but I haven't seen a massive amount of Charlton to be honest, up and down at their place, and looked a good team then. But obviously they've gone off the rails, and uh, maybe a decent open game today. To be honest, but I think I think we'll sneak it two one today. Taking his final 
Campbell taking it really well, got poked through the defender's legs, another corner, 40 minutes in. Andre Green's beating Martin Tindy, ball putting in, that's 1-1 one, one in added time, really poor defending, really poor, that's 1-1, one, one. I don't really think that goal was deserved, I know it's going to sound a bit salty but really, we've dominated this game, really poor. So it's half time, 1-1. One, one. I felt we've been good all the way up until added time and it's the crucial mistakes that cost us as per. Bruno probably should have cleared it a little bit quicker, um, caught asleep and, and then obviously they've gone and put the ball in the middle and it's, uh, it's a goal. But apart from that we've been really good both up front and at the back. Uh, the ref has been quite poor, especially uh, been really harsh on Tyrese. I've been really impressed with James Chester, he uh, looks really composed on the ball, good passing as well. Um, but yeah, I'm still thinking it's going to be 2-1 in the second half. I can't really see Charlton getting anything out of this. I feel like we've been by far the better side this game. Um, still think it'll be 2-1 and I reckon Campbell will get another goal. So, come on Stowe. Well, yeah. Playing on the head. Come from the edge of the box, edge of the D. Joe's got it now. Come on, Charlton. Into the front end. Yeah! Ball in! Very happy with that one. Um, 
three goals again showing the power up front that we've got you know we we are getting a lot better up front and defensively we only conceded one goal and I think that's when we switched off a little bit towards the end of the first half obviously with it being an injury time three goals one from uh, McLean in the first half really well taken the finish and then the two from Ince uh, just inside the first, uh, second half again really nice finish through the keeper's legs uh, I think he might have been offside though but we haven't got VAR so we don't have to worry about it and then uh, Powell wrapped up the scoring um, I think it was about the 60th minute or so um, while taking finish at the near post on to Preston on Wednesday I don't see why we can't go out and beat them because um, they've only I think they beat Wigan today and Wigan obviously around us um, but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed subscribe if you are new like if you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one on Wednesday come on Stoke